I have to be careful what I say here. There's a guy named Rodney. Right? Rodney Morris. He's from Hawaii. And, uh, he came on to the pool scene in America. Like, like, he, he had a, he had a serious mission and, um, started getting recognition, serious recognition as a top shelf player. Mid 90s. And uh, he went on to beat uh, Efren, Efren Reyes in the finals of the U.S. Open, I think it was 96. And uh, maybe 97. Uh, but shortly after, he had to, he had to uh, go away and do something in Oregon for four years. And... Uh, Apparently the place he went to had a pool table because when he was done with that in Oregon I believe it was 2001 uh, He went back to the pool scene and um, It was even better than before he went away and he was interviewed And the question was Something along, like, you know, what happened? How'd you get this good? And he said, well, he practiced a lot when he was just doing his thing in Oregon. And uh, in his mind, he had beaten all the best players in the world. So when he got down with that and came back onto the pool scene... It was just kind of like going through the motions because he had already beaten all these guys in his in his mind. So I, I that really hit me hard, and I really uh, took it to heart. And from then on, uh, when I was practicing, I was practicing imagining with the same intensity, you know, all the intensity I could muster of playing. You know, people like Efren in in the finals of the U.S. Open and beating them. Uh, well, when I, when the practice was going well, um, so that's how I started practicing. And it wasn't just me going to the table and practicing drills, or you know, I was I was I was running out as if, or trying to run out as if. You know, this was it. This was everything was on the line. This it was do or die, um, and it's it's still how I practice to this day. I don't. I'm not just in my twisted head. I'm I'm everything's all about getting the right positioning, getting right, and, and you're not always right, but it's still giving it your best shot to run out. And, and win because you're not just, you know, playing yourself or the ghost or, or one of your buddies. You're, you're playing as if you're playing the best in the world. Uh, and that's how I practice and I think it's how everybody should practice. And, and you should take that little... It wasn't a piece of advice. It was just Rodney explaining what was happening in his mind and how he was... Continually progressing and getting better and beating beating all the best players in the world Never shoot a shot on the pool table without knowing where Whitey is going That's what the pool instructors like to tell you and pool instructors are pretty right on this one mm, Yep, it's all about control, but aren't there some exceptions to this rule? Isn't there times where you're not really sure where the cue ball is going? And what should you do in those cases? Well, the same instructor's probably going to tell you it's time to play a safety. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you it all just depends on the situation. So let's look at a couple situations, homie. The one ball is a tough cut, but your bigger problem is what are you doing with the two ball? Where are you getting it and where are you shooting this two ball? 
And that dilemma is just beginning. How are you getting from the two ball to the four ball? One of the most commonly missed issues in pool is that you can use the balls on the table to control and redirect the cue ball. Pool players see and use rails on the table as mere objects for them to manipulate the cue ball and to get the cue ball in the right position. But in their development, they tend to overlook the fact that you can use the object balls the same way doing the same thing. The natural path of the cue ball after contact in the one ball is coming back down table into the right hand rail and directly at the two ball. We're going to use that fact to put the two ball in a more friendly place and this is my agenda. And from that position your problems are over and you can easily make the two ball while getting on the four ball. Well, good intentions pave the way to hell. For a minute, let's stop looking at the plan and take a look at the reality of what happened. And here's what we're left with. We can still pocket the two ball in the left hand bottom corner, but how are we getting on the four ball? And a lot of players will tell you to duck here, but I'm not ready to let Mr. Filler back at the table. With a little bit of help of bottom right English, we can manipulate the cue ball to play it off the six ball and get back on the four ball. And now we're home free, right? And hell, there's a good chance that you might even make the six ball and now anyone can run the rest of this rack. Even me. Well, that's what I said until I shot the dumbest shot of my life, and here it is. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself Others way before myself, yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man It's all about finding your right state of mind It's all about turning the worst into fine It's all about time and the work and the climb From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first So when you see me sweating these runouts In this detention center of uncoordinated old men 
I'm not just practicing and banging balls around the table. I'm trying to put Josh Filler on the boat back to Germany. And I'm even willing to drop Pia off at the dock. The one good thing about being homeless is that you can't send a homeless man home. We all create the very monsters that ultimately come back and kill us. And it all just comes full circle when you find yourself driving Rodney Morris to the Seattle airport and, and apologize and saying sorry Rodney but it was you or it was me and it wasn't gonna be me going home so tell the people of the island I said aloha